What is up guys? It is Jimbo. I'm back for another reaction video. We're going back into TikTok. We're going to take a look at some motorcycle stuff and do some moto reactions. Let's get it. The 99 Honda Shadow with a Suzuki, Suzuki, Suzuki engine. 2400? Holy 2400 cc engine. My man said it looked like shit, but it runs. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like shit was God, an understatement. Dang. That is a big motor. I had to cut the frame and reweld extra strength up here. It's got a That's a Franken bike. Of a 93 Shadow. It's a 99 body with a Suzuki <laughs> engine and a straw shifter. Damn. I got a good following on the internet. Yes. And I like this bike. It's cool. So how fast has it been? It's cool. It's definitely uh, cool. 200. Hold up. This is... <laughs> This dude said this bike been 268 miles an hour. <laughs> I'd be willing to bet that thing does not do 268 miles an hour. 68. He's clocked by his cousin as a, that's a state trooper. Damn. I had to reverse my, my brake around in the front. <laughs> this comment says, my man's got the front end on backwards. <laughs> so the dude said. 862 miles an hour. <laughs> this comment, <laughs> this comment says every town has this guy. <laughs> that's so that's so true. This one says <clears throat> would absolutely fall apart at 80 miles an hour, let alone 268 miles an hour. <laughs> I switched his brake caliper. God, yeah, now he's got it on the front. I Man, I'll tell you what, that, that thing is a piece. It is a piece. How you doing? How you doing? 25. That's all I'm at. Coolest cop ever. If you're going to speed, I give you five over. He can give you five over? A little bit closer to the T. Please don't do no more than that. <laughs> okay. I'm <Okay. laughs> sorry. Yeah. Don't do an accident report for one of you. <laughs> He said, I ain't trying to do no accident report. I ain't trying to do no paperwork at all. He said, whatever the posted speed limit is, add 25 and don't do over that. Are <laughs> you cool as shit? He walked off. <laughs> Looks like we got the lowrider El Diablo. Oh, hey, guys, what's up? What so, up? Did you just see this new bike that Harley announced today? We oh sure did. Oh, my gosh, the lowrider El Diablo. I think everybody I saw it. See one in the store. It is going to be one of 1,500. Uh, we are getting one. It is, um, you know, like that lowrider ST that. Bli the bike looks clean. I'll be honest, it looks super clean. Came out earlier this year that everyone freaking. It's got the El Diablo, El Diablo badge on there. It's super similar to the lowrider ST. In fact, I think the only thing that's different is the paint. Frame. It does also come complete with a Rockford Fosgate audio system that. That's actually pretty badass. The Rockford Fosgates are badass sound system, especially on your motorcycle. That thing looks badass. It looks real cool. I for sure would not mind having one, but I guarantee you they probably all have 31,000. Southern California style. Look, you can see my comment down here. This bike looks sick. Can you hand deliver me one? Yeah, that little paint sticker is pretty badass. I'll give them that. Let's see what geeks on here doing. Who'd have thought? That as the world got softer. Nickelback would become harder. This is Nickelback? Hold up, for real, this is Nickelback? Damn, that intro goes hard. That sounds super hard. Group ride do's and don'ts. Let's talk about them. Group rides are a great way to have fun with your friends, but they can go Most from a definitely. good time to an absolute shit show before you even know it. So here's some of my tips. <laughs> That's so true. Avoid that shit show. Number one, I don't care what anyone else tells you or how much shit they talk. Do not ride outside of your abilities. You will not ruin everyone's day by going a little bit slower than they want to go. You will ruin everyone's day by wrapping your bike around a tree. <laughs> this part of the battle right there is learning to ride, keep up with everybody. Number two, make sure that everyone is aware of your destination and any stops you plan to make along the way because it's really easy to get separated and if you do, you don't have to worry about it. You just meet up at your next stopping point. 
Yeah, we plan out everything, man. We plan out each and every stop. Everybody's aware of where we're going, what the route is going to be. Three, if you need to stop for any reason at all, whether it's a bathroom break or if you need gas or a drink, anything, make sure that the rest of the group knows that you're stopping. If you don't, they might realize two or three miles down the road and think that you got hit by a car. That's <laughs> I've seen that happen before. Totally have seen that happen. If you guys want a part two, let me know down in the comments below and make sure you like and follow for more. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. Jesus. She opening up the box with her nail. Holy moly. That's a clean ass wheel. Is that a Shinko tire on there? <laughs> hey, you know what though? I ain't dogging on Shinko, man. I've rocked so many Shinkos in my day. Shout out to Shinko. Why do you keep staring over here? Fucking introduction that you already know. Suicide death. That's a clean ass bike. That is a clean ass bike. That thing is fucking sick. I mean, completely sick. Now, if I was in a position to go pick the Pan America one from the dealership, we pick the Harley Davidson Pan America. 149. Yeah, the Pan America power, is sick. And you go off road with it. It's just, it's fucking badass. It is. Why it is most definitely. The bike is awesome, man. It is mean. I'm a little bit too short-bodied for it. I kind of was on my tippy toes and shit when I was riding it. But it is definitely mean. It's badass. It's a nice uh, uh, change of pace from the everyday bikes that we're used to seeing for the last decades. It fucks. It does. Yeah. <laughs> Minivan pulls up. Waving at the little kid in there. Hey, first off, man, that, that shit goes a long way. I guarantee kids are going to remember that, especially coming from, like, a motorcycle club member. It's not just some average rider. You know, they kind of put motorcycle club members on a pedestal at that young age and sitting there acknowledging them and being real cool with them. That shit goes a long way. This is my life now that I'm retired. <clears throat> Most people, when they retire, go fishing, buy a Corvette, fucking... Do drugs and have a good time. Hell yeah. I guess it's not too late to be a cosplayer. <laughs> Get getting them, boy. I think our turbocharged Harley. Holy shit. That thing looks mean. Test looks real fucking mean. Still gonna get clapped by a Jixxer 1000. <laughs> what I thought owning a Harley would be like. What I thought owning a Harley would be like. Take me for a ride sometime. Your bike is so hot. You should take me on a date on your bike. What it's actually like. <laughs> oh shit. I used to have one of those until my wife sold it. <laughs> when they're just gay. License and registration. What I <laughs> That video is so true. This week, Grandma turned 100 for years old and only wanted a ride on a Harley for old. her birthday. Now, I'll be honest, I would feel super nervous with her being 104 years old if I was the guy that was giving her the ride. This comment says, walking like she's 15. I want that secret. <laughs> Getting the jacket ready. Got the non-DOT helmet and everything. Man, this guy's got some balls here. <clears throat> he taking one of the oldest people alive on a motorcycle ride. Like out of all days, you cannot grass today. You got that fragile cargo. If this made you smile, like that's badass though. That was real cool. When you're all about that diesel life, you build a diesel bagger. Damn. <laughs> Dude, look how fucking crazy that thing is. Damn, that is so sick. When you're this comment says, not with today's diesel prices. <laughs> oh, this dude took a low blow. He said, bet it's actually reliable now. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be it for this week on Moto Reactions. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. 
following me on TikTok. Definitely go follow all the creators in the videos that we watched today. There's a whole lot of them, man, that are just super, super awesome to follow. They always put out real good content. You guys have a badass weekend. Get some riding in. The weather is definitely getting a little bit nicer. I'm down here in Dallas, Texas. This is going to be like the first weekend in a while that we haven't had 100 degree weather consistently. So you guys go get some riding footage, post your shit over on TikTok, and let's see if it makes it over here to Moto Reactions on YouTube. You guys take care.